Hey, what's up, you all? It's your dude, Christopher Palmer. I have autism here, hitting you all up with another video. So this is the room I am staying in right now. And I do apologize if it's a bit of a mess, but yeah. As you can see, got to sleep on this nice, comfortable headbed here. And uh, the remote goes to this old Sony DVD player, whatever, tape. It's got a tape player, too, as well, I think. No, no, it doesn't. I thought it did. My bad. Yeah, as you can see, moved some stuff around. Got my setup here. Brought, I wrapped up and organized a bunch of my equipment. And, uh, yeah, so you can see the outside. This is vlogging earlier. And I got some weights. So, yeah, man. Alright, I'm going to show you the garage area. I don't live in this house, by the way. It's a vacation vlog. We rented it out for about a week or so. So, yeah. I'm not saying I don't have a nice house, but don't have a two-story house either. I don't even own a house, period. I live with my mother because, of course... I have autism and a slight learning disability, but now it's five years old, or four, so to speak. I was tested, and they said I had borderline IQ level. And but little did the, little did anybody would know, like over two decades later, I would graduate with a high school diploma, only under special combinations. Most people with disabilities only get a certificate, but I got a high school diploma. I didn't get it until like the age of 23. It took me a little bit longer than most, but nevertheless, it doesn't matter how long it takes you, as long as you never give up and you believe in yourself and you work hard towards something, you may eventually get it one day. Never give up. Always do your best. Doesn't matter how long it took you, takes you, it doesn't matter how long it took me. The the fact of the matter is I never gave up and I kept pushing myself. And I went to college for two years and I learned a great deal I got a great deal of knowledge there. In the course of nine the first nine months I was in a program for special needs people. There was a program called the Trio program in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Yeah. You know what I love about talking about stuff like this? It really feels good to be able to open up and be truly genuine and to be able to express myself. Not that I couldn't on my other main channel, but that was a gaming channel and I was mixing things up. And for the and my me and my mother had a talk yesterday and she figured, well, because I notice a lot of times I'll cuss in my videos. I don't mean to, but it comes off that way. So I try to keep it clean here. I may slip a word out every now and then. Believe me, I may say a cuss word. But um, it's not, I want to push the envelope on it. Or at least try to. I try to keep it clean. It's just that I've been around so many people I've been in so many social settings that you hear people say all, all sorts of stuff and the kind of and the kind of environment that I have been in and worked in kind of had had your you had to kind of always have your head on a swivel I mean that's life you always got to have your head on a swivel you always got to be on the defense which is you know be as stressful enough as it is, but naturally, any everybody's on the defense at some level, you know. Fear is what keeps us from doing things that are. It helps us to keep us from doing things that are may consider be considerably unnecessary. And sorry if my speech is a little slur. Um, 
I'm just a little, I'm just excited. And so, I gotta really take the time to calm down now. I gotta really take the time to calm down now. But yeah, I'm not gonna open the garage door. I don't want to let all the bugs in. There's a lot of mosquitoes. We live near uh, the sound. We don't live near the sound. Well, only for a week we're living in there, the sound. No, we're not living here at all. We're on vacation. I lied. Ha ha ha. We're on vacation. But I did wish we did live here because that would be sweet. I would love to own a house like this. But the only problem is during hurricane season, it floods really bad. So, mm, I don't know. I think I'll stick to Elizabeth City for right now. That's not to say I don't flood Elizabeth City either, but man, if you're on the other banks, you're surrounded by bodies of water, so <laughs> there's really no escaping it. Once you're trapped in, you're trapped in. Oh. <sighs> so I'm about to get my shoes on right now, and I'm about to go to a fishing store to find, to get some look at some uh, different hooks and baits and all that stuff. Well, I don't think they sell bait, but you know what I mean. Just different hooks with artificial bait on it. But the fish know better. They can smell. They know the difference between what's real and what's not. They might have tiny little brains, but believe me, those tiny little brains carry enough knowledge for them to know that they see they, they can smell a fake fish they know it's a fake fish and they're not gonna bite on that you gotta put some real bait like maybe shrimp on the on the hook and um I'm not the best candidate for fishing believe me I am still a newbie but I've only just begun to learn the basics and that's not to say I haven't caught any fish because I've caught a few believe me I've caught a few fish but comparison to my uncle who's been doing it for pretty much his whole life I'm nobody when it comes to fishing he's the one teaching me the lessons of fishing and what I need to do and I would never go to competition with somebody who's been doing this sort of thing their whole life and I'm just doing this as a temporary hobby no this could be a hobby throughout my life but you know I don't fish that much I don't really I don't live near I live in an area where there is water, don't get me wrong, but I, but fishing, it's just not something I'm just in tune with, not as much as they are, you know. But that's not to say I don't enjoy it. You know, I'm going to make a little disclaimer, you know, just a little warning, but when you go to my other channel... The language I will be using is not clean language at all. Parental discretion is advised for that chan for my main channel. This is my main channel for vlogging now, my main channel for gaming, back there. Parental discretion is advised, okay? You will hear stuff come out of my mouth that you wouldn't hear here. So if this is your first time watching my video here, then you'll be surprised what I got the stuff that comes out of my mouth on the other channel. I'm trying my best to keep it clean here. And so far, I think I've been doing a pretty good job. So, yeah. Um, so, a lot of the stuff I talk about, I, don't, I do it... When I cuss, it's part of the satire content that I have for gameplay. I try to add a, a little bit of satire spice to it. Because normally I'm not like that. I don't cuss and say stuff like F you. Uh, stuff like that. and Stuff I'd rather not say here. Because, you know, like I said, I want to keep it clean. And I just wanted to set the record straight here and just get things clarified. 
because I didn't do that in the previous video, but I wanted to get clarified here because, like I said, I'll be sending links vice versa from my main, from my gaming channel to this channel, from this channel to my gaming channel. Yeah. So, with all that being said, hopefully I, I clarified it, hopefully I explained it and articulated it in a way that you would understand what I'm trying to talk about here and what I'm trying to explain to you here. And hopefully I explained it well and I hope you understand. Because sometimes explaining is not my best forte. I can blame it all on the autism, but in the end, it's who I am. It's not, I shouldn't say it's what, who, what defies me, but it's, it's part of who I am. And I see nothing wrong with it. So, yeah.